Well, in a major announcement, Russia says it's backing out of a deal allowing Ukraine to export grain across the Black Sea. This move creates serious concerns for global food insecurity. At the same time, the Kremlin's blaming Kiev for deadly explosions along a vital bridge connecting Russia to the peninsula. Justin Finch breaks it all down for us. An investigation now underway at the site of catastrophic damage after reported explosions on the Kerch Bridge in Russian annexed Crimea. Vehicle and rail traffic disrupted as the structure appears near partial collapse. A husband and wife were reportedly killed and a child injured. The Kremlin now accusing Ukraine of launching underwater drones to carry out the attack with the assistance of U.S. and British intelligence. No immediate comment from Kyiv. Last October, a truck explosion mangled road and rail access along the Kerch Bridge. The 12-mile overpass is a critical route for Russian troops since Moscow seized the Crimean Peninsula in 2014. Meantime, a crucial call from Moscow announcing it's no longer honoring its agreement with Kyiv, allowing Ukraine to export grain through the Black Sea. And I have to blame Russia for this decision, completely unjustified weaponizing the hunger of the people. The European Union is slamming Russia's decision as it seeks new ways to stabilize the global food supply chain. The Kremlin insisting its decision to cancel the deal was made long before the latest Kerch Bridge blast. Russia saying it's freezing participation until it sees increases in its own agricultural shipments, despite now record exports. Normally the wheat uh, from Ukraine goes to very poor countries. Those countries will really need to import more from Russia. The Pope has dispatched Italian Cardinal Matteo Zuppi to Washington on a mission this week to promote peace in Ukraine with a focus on alleviating suffering of the most vulnerable and children. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.